Hey everyone, Pastor Tim here from West Shore. Welcome to our daily devotion and prayer time. We are <clears throat> continuing on this Lord's Day in Genesis chapter 1, and we are picking up in verse 14 as we read the account of creation. And the Bible says in verse 14, Then God said, Let lights appear in the sky to separate the day from the night. Let them be signs to mark the seasons, days, and years. Let these lights in the sky shine down on the earth. And that is what happened. God made two great lights, the larger one to govern the day and the smaller one to govern the night. He also made the stars. God set these lights in the sky to, to light the earth, to govern the day and night, and to separate the light from the darkness. And God, God saw that it was good. And evening passed and morning came, marking the fourth day. Then God said, let the water swarm with fish and other life. Let the skies be filled with birds of every kind. So God created great sea creatures and every living thing that scurries and swarms in the water and every sort of bird, each producing offspring of the same, <coughs> excuse me, of the same kind. God saw that it was good. Then God blessed them saying, be fruitful and multiply. Let the fish fill the seas and let the birds multiply on the earth. And evening passed and morning came, marking the fifth day. Then God said, let the earth produce every sort of animal, each producing offspring of the same kind, livestock, small animals and that scurry along the ground and wild animals. And that is what happened. God made all sorts of wild animals, livestock and small animals, each able to produce offspring of the same kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, let us make human beings in our image to be like us. They will reign over the fish in the sea, the birds in the sky, and the livestock, all the wild animals on the earth, and the small animals that scurry along the ground. So God created human beings in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. Then God blessed them and said, be fruitful and multiply, fill the earth and govern it. Rain over the fish in the sea, the birds in the sky, and all the animals that scurry along the ground. Then God said, look, I have given you every seed-bearing plant throughout the earth and all the fruit trees for your food. And I have given every green plant as food for the wild animals, the birds in the sky, and the small animals that scurry along the ground, everything that has life in it. And that is what happened. Then God looked over all he had made, and he saw that it was very good. And evening passed, and morning came, marking the sixth day. So those are the six days of creation. And our takeaway this morning is incredibly simple, if you will. As we look at the six days of creation, we see that God's hand his fingerprints are on every inch, every atom, every piece of the smallest molecule of creation. His fingerprints are on everything. And you might say, well, that's obvious to me, Tim. But here's what I want you to take away. If his fingerprints are on all of that stuff, that means that his fingerprints are on you. And that means that if he is part of every part of creation, then he's part of you. And he has a plan and a purpose for you. All that he asks is that you surrender your life to him, receive what Jesus did on the cross, and make him your Lord. That's a great encouragement to know that the creator of the universe, the one that spoke and everything came into existence, cares that much about you. Let's pray. Father, we come to you on this uh, Lord's Day, the day that, that we have 
set aside to worship you corporately as the church, as your bride, and we pray that you will help us to remember that you are intimately aware of everything in our lives. You are intimately concerned with everything in our lives. And we pray, Father, that you will help us to live with that truth within each one of us each and every day. We'll be careful to give you the thanks and praise for all things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, I trust you'll have a super Sunday. I look forward to seeing you at 11 o'clock as we join together to worship and as we continue in our series at West Shore. Um, what if, what if we were all in, in sharing our faith and striving to lead others to Christ? Look forward to seeing you then. Until next time, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. May you fall just a little bit deeper in love with Jesus today. Take care. God bless you.